G'day viewers, well I'm gonna modify this DTV antenna. Now for um I think it's 180 something or 180 hertz or megahertz for our VHF here where, where I live. I have to have something like this for an antenna to pick up the VHF. I have to have this loop in the middle, which is what you connect to you connect your, your main input to. What these do is act as a reflector and this just catch captures it all in, in that loop, connect it at one end. Just staple or that with a staple gun, connect this to the set top box and it should get it um, VHF providing I hold it high enough. Yeah, because if you go by a real TV antenna, look how a real TV antenna is constructed, depending on where you live, they have it like a loop in the middle with one end connected to this and there'll be like a ground or something from the ground of the shield or of this, whatever it is, and some types it's connected to the ground of the antenna, but other times it's not. Yeah, it just, it just has this connected and that's it. Your center bit connects to that and that's in the middle. There was a heat cap uh, reflected off here. This will capture it in the middle. So I'll change off this to this and we'll see what happens. So yeah, we'll staple this down and we'll give it a test. Okay, have yours all time a test? Yeah, a bit of dust in the back of the CRT makes little crackling sounds when I turn it on. <laughs> now I've got the front, so it's AV2 on this set, so I'm going to wait for it to load up. Um, I've got to get to the mode, I think. Yeah, the remote has all the AV settings, so I've got to get that. Yeah, it's a hard remote in the fridge, get it the dust. For convenience. Now what channel are we on here? Let's just try HD VHF. Which, yeah. Let's see if I, if I get this right, it should work in theory. Yeah, that's how you do VHF antennas. You have a little loop in the middle, and these things act like act as a reflector. And that middle bit just connects on the here, and that just flips around. It doesn't connect back up because it shorts. But that's how it's supposed to look. That's supposed to be a reflector. It captures what these catch. But yeah, depends where you are, and yeah, it's not working. This is a crappy CIT in this TV, they've got a lot of bad picture um, smudging and like a wear effect. Yeah, it's only a Samsung CIT, hence why this TV is so flat. Alright, I better just take the box off temporarily. This is probably not going to work if I put it like this. But yeah, let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. If I held it outside and stood in the leaf, it would probably work. <laughs> yeah. I have to stand up on the leaf or something to get this one to work. That one's alright. VHF. Gem VHF. First, looks something like that anyway. But yeah, I have to try to sleep idea on my other antenna, see what that does. It's just not working. That's how your antenna is supposed to look. Have this, what this does is that these actors are effective, as I was saying, and this has to be in the middle, and that captures it. But you have to research your local frequency on Google, or there's some sort of um, it's a website there somewhere that tells you how long your antenna masts. Um, things need to be for your local area and you can work out from there how, how you build your antenna it's different from where you live I'm going to try to test my other antenna ok have you also got my main antenna hooked up very crudely the one that was there has been lit someone's borrowing that one so I can put that one out crudely there I really should mount it to the top of the pole and point it to the transmitter but I haven't got a mount for that antenna with main so See what this does. Let's do menu. See if it gets any better. Yeah, it was getting all the way up here before when I was in here, but I'm not getting very good reception at all. If I lift it up high, I should get somewhere. That's 194.5 megahertz. If your channel is VHF, copy that number down. 
and you should be able to um, find some calibration thing on the internet and there's some maths you got to work out to that frequency and how long your antenna masts have to be you have to get plug around my antenna got to be able to hear it from out there so I can turn the TV up so I can hear it if it works or not if you go out there and hold it up like it should work Careful when I get shocked. It's going to point that way to my antenna, the transmitter. Yeah, it's not working. I gotta. Yeah. Okay, I've always put the camera down. Try this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to look something like this with a loop in the middle. And that first conductor connects to your main conductor out of that one. And these act as a um, reflector. But yeah, after do some more research and making a proper outdoor antenna. So yeah, that's all for today. So. Thanks for watching.